I call the meeting to order uh, 9.30. Uh, Elizabeth is not with us today, so I will be chairing the meeting. And a couple of things on the agenda that she, there, on the, under the new business, there was a confidentiality uh, subject that she herself had put in there. And she would like it deferred to the next meeting, which we will do. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the minutes of the meeting. Uh, any comments on the minutes? No, they look fine. I, I had just one more, Heather, on, on the communications. McAndrews is, should be no S on the end of that. It's McAndrew. She, right. I think, I think I think I sent out, a, after you kindly corrected that, I sent out corrected minutes. I think I corrected it on that. I'm trying to pull it up now, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah it's on, but it, it's in the public. It's under the notes, not uh, under the names, you know, who, was, who attended. Okay. So if you look, just correct that. And I'm I'm all set with the others. So any. Nobody else uh, has any comments. If you correct that one. Uh, okay, I'm, so, I'm not able to, I'm not finding the minutes quickly. So where is the second one that I need to correct? And then I will. It, do it's it. under the new new business. And new it business. says, okay. yeah. It says Miss McAndrews with an S. There's no S. Uh, would somebody like to make a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So I have a question about minutes to um, Catherine, which I just saw this morning that you'd submitted the May minutes, the May minutes to the town. I was unaware of that part of the job. So tell um, me what you need to do about why, that. That's why I cc'd you on those. Um, yeah. You'll see it, you should have in there the um, it's the, a meetings um, email at the townhouse, and um, there's no rush in submitting them, but you submit them to meetings at townhouse. Okay. Yeah, and, and I think who the town clerk gets a copy of that, Catherine. Is that right? The, the, um, I, I don't. I don't know what happened. I just send them to this meeting's email. Someone picks them up and posts them where they're supposed to go. Okay. Um, so, um, and on the treasurer's report with the holiday week, um, I did not get the spreadsheet from the town. So there will be no treasurer's report um, this month. Okay. I will get it to you next month. Okay. Uh, so we'll move on to new business. Uh, now, I'm not sure what the, on the donor gifts. I can tell gifts. you. Do you I, know I, anything about that, Lucy? Yes, I'm the one that put it on and I actually oh. would like Elizabeth's input, but essentially what it is, um, you know, we have our, uh, Hester, we have our kind of fundraiser in December Right. and people send in contributions, and then there are form letters sent as thank yous. Well, my son and his wife made a substantial donation to Hugh Cargill Trust, and nobody told me. So he just asked me recently, he said, Mom, did you ever know that I gave, we gave money? And I said, no. And so my feeling is that we need to, I mean, the name Rossboro, there isn't anybody else other than me that would have done it. Right. It's really important that we um, let people know if family members or people we know, you know, it's very nice to go and anybody and say, I noticed you gave to Hugh Cargill Trust. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We're doing great work for our community. And so I think that um, that might lead into her confidentiality conversation. I don't know. But anyway, I was. No, I I was I, kind of I sent, upset yeah. about that. <laughs> so, yeah, we, now I know we've signed a bunch of uh, letters. Yeah, but that, letters. this is not the could same. I, could I speak? Um, yeah. 
um, the, treasure, the treasurer's report that comes from the townhouse lists who has made donations. So I think that's something I will be able to flag going forward. Um, and I think it is a good idea to have a formal thank you for people who give during the year. So that's something I will look out for on each month's um, treasurer's report. Uh, uh, good. So is that what you're uh, wondering about, Lucy, how to do it that? It was. I also feel, um, I remember it gaining ground, um, you know, someone would give a first time gift and, you know, a friend that I had asked to do that. And it's really nice to be able to follow up and say thank you. You know, it's so personal rather than just a form letter with someone's signature at the bottom saying, we received it. Thank you very much, Denny McIntyre, Bob. Um, it yeah. just makes a difference. I, it's a very personal gift that these people make. And so um, I, I know Lucy, when we, I agree. Uh, go ahead, Ken. I, I agree. And this is something we will be able, to, again, I can get the names each month. I don't think there would be any question of confidentiality. This is, it's not like giving to a political cause. Yeah. So I have a question. I mean, we send money always in December, and I don't remember on the form. Many places, when one makes a donation, there's a check off. You know, this donation is in honor of, or this donation is in memory of. Is there, or could there be such a, a check off? Because that also might, you know, bring this information up rapidly. That's a good idea. It also would would stimulate more gifts. I think. Mm -hmm. um, because some people know um, the recipients personally, even though it's confidential, they know that their relative or their neighbor has been helped and mm -hmm. they want to give a gift in their memory if they've moved mm -hmm. on or in honor of them if they're still around. So I think so, that's really good. Yeah. Just summarizing, I guess, uh, you know, like at the campaign, we usually, things are sent out uh, in early November, I think, and then for the uh, you know tax relief, the property tax relief, and the for the our intake. Uh, so and now we we do like people like the way Denny McIntyre she was running this. We all took people that we knew and wrote a little personal note, thank you note back to them, even though there's a form letter. We wrote a little note on each one. I think, Lucy, what you're getting at is where people donate during the year, maybe they're not acknowledged. Is that or what you're... even at year end. I mean, I didn't know my son gave a nice big gift. And I would have liked to have known that because, you know, he, he always gives a gift to all the organizations. An acknowledgement. Which is such a nice thought for a child to do, to honor the thing yeah. the parent is involved in. That's really touched me so okay all right uh the meeting the meeting schedule uh i'm not that that one i think was i believe for uh like to schedule a meeting hey catherine we can see you I don't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. All right, so so we can, uh, in other words, like I think this is, has to do with like emergency meetings, if yeah. we need to. Well, what it, it relates to is um, every so often in intake, I find someone who has an emergency, and and is in need of funding, and you know if we have to wait um, six four to six weeks, um, the opportunity has gone by and they're in tr deeper trouble. And so uh, what we're really talking about is on occasion and probably happens very rarely, would we call a meeting just to discuss a, a, an executive session meeting to discuss a client's need in an emergency. So, we, we had done that in the past. What? No, not well, really. Way back, you know, for no, at no. the beginning, we had a special meeting, but uh, when something came up, but is that what you so you would like to have some method of say calling a meeting, a uh, special meeting? Uh, yes, if if there is um, 
an emergency um, need in town where, okay. and, um, and actually we're not the only ones notified that there's an emergency. So it's not all on us, but it would be really important for us to participate as, as to collaborate as we do with other organizations. So it, it would happen rarely, but to have that option um, would be really important. So. Okay. All right, so what, what can we do for this meeting? What, what, like as far as the meeting notes, would you like to have some uh, something put in the notes about that? Look. Yes, that we would uh, like to have the option uh, in an emergency of calling it an executive session to consider a certain applicant's request. Okay. Can All we right. just vote on that or does there need to be something more formal? I think we should vote on it. Um, just. All right. Yeah, my my caveat would be is I hope that this is would be very rare, um, and also when the other when other town um, groups are involved in it, when the social workers involved, when the community chest is that the kind of thing you're talking about, Lucy? Yes. When you get yes, and and it's very very rare, but it was um, you know there's an all out bulletin kind of a we all know in town. Uh, the what we need to do and so we mm -hmm. participate in that and but it, I mean it might happen once a year it could happen twice a year you know has right. happened in many years so you know I've been able to hold people off for a month like right now I have four people who really are anxious for help but they're not on my list this month because I don't have quite the information I need but mm -hmm. if it happened that you know it was quite serious in two weeks, which yeah. I doubt, but you know, the option mm -hmm. would be available to us, so. Right. I mean, there's always the option to have a meeting, to call a meeting too, a chair could call a meeting, you know, for if notified, so. Well, we have to post it and all of that, so. Well, no, this would be under executive session, so I don't think we would, in other words, uh, wouldn't be a public meeting if you did that, I don't think. No, it wouldn't be public. So yeah. we wouldn't have to post that. Uh, it would be just, we have the option to do that. Is that something we need to check with someone at the townhouse about what? Um, yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea, Catherine. I think we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll check and see what, yeah, Shannon may be able to help with that. Answer the question. Okay. I don't know if we want to, I don't think we want to have a formal vote at this point. Right, let me check out first, see what the deal okay. is, and then we'll come That's back. Right. Need to know what's okay. happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, is any other new business that uh, other than what noted? So if not, we're going to go to continue in business. The tax relief, uh, Shannon's not with us. She had another meeting today, so she couldn't. But basically, I think we're, we've gotten out all the approval letters, the people that are on the property tax relief list. And uh, we still had some, we followed up with the second letter and some and phone calls, but some of the numbers listed are not working. So uh, as far as uh, any questions on that new app, still have the same amount, maybe I think around 63 applicants at this point. So Bob, are there any that you have not been able to reach? Because maybe I reached those people through my other <laughs> avenue. Uh, well, I, why don't I can send you the list, you know, people Good. that I'm dead. Good. All right. Uh, 
appreciate your help, Lucy, with that too. Uh, the communications that we have, uh, anything new on there for communications? We, we have this list. Uh, I think it's pretty been stagnant for a little bit of time. So maybe we'll just, it was basically an information list of who to contact or uh, so in the town for uh, people that we can help with our with our committee. So, now, and th as far as the house budget earmark, uh, there's not been any update on that. They still haven't done anything with it. So that's still an open item. Right. This can be a very quick meeting unless somebody yeah. else has some yeah. other issues. Is there anything else that needs to be brought forward? No, then I'll make a motion for adjournment to executive session for the purpose of discussing individuals or families seeking assistance, the disclosure of which would be a violation of privacy. Is there a second? Second. All those in all favor? Aye. 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 All right, see you all, all right. soon. See you in a minute. Yeah, five minutes. Okay, we'll be back with the exam.